Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott. Today I'm going to go over how to master the meet and greet part two. So check this out. This part two right here, there's a part one that we did. I'm going to put it in the link below so you can check it out. This is going to be on the phone. So it's going to be answering the phone call, crushing the meet and greet right out the gate or in person. It doesn't matter. This covers all of it. So we have videos that just cover phone training and then there's certain videos that just cover on the lot. This covers both. And I'll share with you, if you have not seen part one of this, go to the link below when we're done and rock and roll. We're going to get crushing it real fast. This will be a game changer for a lot of you, whether you're new or whether you've been in it a long time, this is going to give you the edge that you need to get sharp and start making more money. I want to ask one favor. I put out over three to 400 sales training videos through the year. There's always one I put out every single day so you guys can sharpen up, make more money, and live your best life. Do me a favor, and they're free, they don't cost anything. I would like to start reaching out and asking you. If you don't ask for the business, do you get it? No. Anytime anybody needs anything, you can text me. My cell phone's 918 210 0254. You text me anytime, it'll be me personally reaching out and helping you. I would like to ask you guys to help me with something. Would you please, I need to grow my YouTube channel with more salespeople. I want to reach out and help more people. I would like to ask you guys for one thing. Also for the algorithm, I need more likes and I need more comments. I'm asking you for help. If there's anything that you ask me for, I'll do. Shoot me a text, ask me for anything reasonably right now. I will do it for you, anything. And in return, I just ask for one thing, please. I want to create the best salespeople in the country. I want salespeople to be making two, three, four hundred thousand a year. But hard work won't get there. You have to have the skill acquisition. You have to have the skill. So anything you need, I got you. This is what I'd like to, to ask you to do for me. Please share this video. Please share every time you're watching one of my YouTube videos. Would you please share it with two, three, or four other salespeople? that you're close to, that you would like to see them elevate their game to, would you please help me share my name, post it on your Facebook page, okay? If you love my training, post it on your Facebook page. You know, give me a shout out and say, hey, anybody watching uh, for car sales training, if you wanna become great, it doesn't cost anything, it's free, go to YouTube, type in Andy Elliott Car Sales. You'll pull them up, start watching his videos, all you have to do is subscribe, hit the alert button, and then daily get it. Would you do that for me, please? That right there would mean everything to me. That's more important than money itself. I wanna build this channel. I wanna be able to touch every salespeople in the country um, you know, from the reach of the internet. And I appreciate you, I'm grateful for you. Let's rock and roll. All right, so we're gonna talk about always be on a mission to search for the common ground. When you're in the meet and greet, how do you be unbelievable and deadly at being on a mission to find common ground? It's easy. These are the three deadly skills that you have to have. I want you to take a pen and paper and I want you to write these down because as I'm going up, if you were to come in right now to my conference room and I'll just walk up and say hi, there was three things that would be on my heart to do. They're tattooed. I'm ready to make sure these three things happen. Why? So I can tear the wall down. I'm 100% sure they've met a salesperson at another store already or on the phone that didn't do these three things. If I do all three, that's called the unfair advantage. How do you crush everybody around you? It's real easy. You need to know things that your competition don't know. They don't know this. Number one, you have to develop trust. Number two, you have to develop rapport. Number three, you have to build common ground. Look, I'm gonna tell you this. If you have common ground, which is you're on a mission to search for the common ground every single second, without these three things, you will get shot down. If you don't have trust in your car deal, will you get shot down? 100%. If you don't have rapport, will you get shut down? Yes. If you don't have common ground, you're gonna get shot down. Rapport and common ground are two complete different things. Look, ask great questions to find out more about them, right? To make it more personal instead of a transaction. Now listen, most people come into a dealership not looking to get personal with you, okay? They're looking for just a transaction. What is the unfair advantage again? What is the one percenter? The one percenter can get on personal grounds. You know why? Because he's doing it intentionally. And matter of fact, it's tattooed on his heart to find that immediately. So you know what I do? I ask questions that will allow me to not only build common ground, 
but to build rapport through the whole cell. When I tell you this, the, the more a person can get personal with you, the more attached that they will be to you to buy from you. When we're talking about phone selling and phone skills, the person that just does a transaction with somebody, yeah, I have that, yeah, it's a great car, what time can you make it? Sure, we'll praise your car when you get here, we'd love to make you a great deal, what time can you make it? That person sets an appointment. Is that a fake appointment? No, it's probably a real one. But when they call me, and I get a chance to talk to them, and I talk to them about their family, how life's going, what's, what, what's happening, where you from, oh my gosh, I got family there, how do you like living there? And next thing you know, we get personal. When I set my appointment, they are coming to meet Andy, okay? They're not coming to buy the car. Yes, that is part of it, but they're coming to meet Andy. Please crush the transaction part of the business with personal. When you do that, you will destroy any other relationship they've ever had with the salesperson. They will want to buy from you and they will buy from you, okay? So let's go ahead and ask great questions to find out more about them. Who's it about? It's about them. What do we need to do? We need to get them talking, okay? The more they talk, the more we can find out. All right, always remember on an inbound phone call or a fresh up, the customer made the decision to call you. They sent the lead to you. They are pulling up in your dealership. Are you cold calling them? No. So they've actually gone into the fear zone of doing something that they're probably not comfortable doing. Since they've done that, right? Check this out. They're getting a hold of you to do business. So when you meet them for the first time, be outstanding and be different. I want to tell you this. Whether you're on the phone or in person, it doesn't matter. You have to be different. See, I want to tell you this. There are a bunch of bad salespeople in this world. You know what they do? They go out and they do the transaction and they don't get personal. They don't love people and they just wanna make money. Unfortunately, if you don't love people and you just wanna chase money, you're not gonna make it. The customers can smell it on you when they pull up. When you're different, guess what happens? You crush it. People want to buy from you. They made the decision to come into your dealership. They made the decision to call you. There is no BS, smoke, there's no tire kicker. These people have a lot of things they could be doing in this world. The fact that they've showed up or they reached out, don't let those stall tactics of what they tell you make you feel for a second they're not serious. They're dead serious, okay? So, let me give you an example, all right? What would be a way for me to go and meet you and make you feel differently about me than probably the guy across the street at a different dealership? So here's the guy across the street at the dealership. Hey, my name's Andy, welcome to the store. Can I help you find someone? He says, yeah, I saw a car online. They'd say, well, what car was it? You know, which vehicle is it? I can help you with that. Transaction, how do we get personal? Let me show you. Right here, real simple. I, I made it a little example, so this will be easy for you guys, okay? Welcome to ABC Motors. My name is Andy Elliott. Instead of welcome to ABC Motors, my name's Andy Elliott. How can I serve you today? And what can I get you information on? So. How you doing? Welcome to ABC Motors. My name's Andy Elliott. How can I serve you guys today? And what would you like me to get you some information on? That right there, it covers a couple things. Number one, when I say, how can I serve you? Like Chick-fil-A's in business because of that. It's incredible. It's the most amazing thing I ever, when somebody says, how can I serve you? No matter how I'm feeling at that time, I just go, oh, how are you doing? I cannot think of a bad thing to say when someone says, how can I serve you? Okay, how can I help you? We're just looking. How can I serve you? I don't even wanna say that to you now, okay? You've been too polite with me right out the gate. And then secondly, what is it, what is it that I follow up with on the second half? What can I get you information on? Why do I say what can I get you information on? Because I know automatically that they have something in their head going on and that something going on is probably trying to get some information. So when I say, how can I serve you? That shows you what kind of person I am. And then secondly, what can I get you information on? That right there flows into the fact that you're already wanting information. So now I'm competent to help you because I understand what you want. Now guess what? Now you wanna do business with me and you see me as somebody that you probably can do business with. Do you see how powerful that is? I wanna tell you, you can make a small tweak in your sales game and it can change everything. 
This is a small tweak that I would like you to, to try and, and, and implement and get really good at it. By the way, this is to bring the wall down fast. That's what that's for, is to bring that wall down fast. All right, so, and by the way, look, I'm gonna tell you this, get them talking comfortably, this is huge. This deal right here, uh, I put right here, feel welcome and feel like they wanna open up to you. If people bring the wall down, they will actually start talking to me like I'm their friend. If they don't bring the wall down, they'll talk to me like the transaction, which is what we talked up here, instead of being on a personal level. How can I serve you? What can I get you, what can I get you information on? They'll answer that, they'll probably open up to me, I can talk to them like a friend, and then guess what, remember when we greet people, we greet people like they're not coming into the dealership, okay? We greet people like they're coming into our home, okay? And when people are greeted like they're coming into our home, they'll act differently. So we wanna make it more on a personal level. All right, let's go into this last part here, and I think this bottom one is gonna really help you a lot, and by the way, I made this uh, building rapport so it doesn't run too long, um, the meet and greet mastery on the phone or in person, so that you guys can get a little bit of every single day to continue to grow this step. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a three-part series, but it may even be four. But this right here, if you haven't watched the first one, go back and watch the first one and you'll see how we started. And then I'll pick up with this tomorrow and then again the next day if it runs one more day, okay? So you guys can become deadly at this. I see people lose cells here before they are even began because they're not great at this. So the same thing with the phone. All right, so be knowledgeable. Help the customer and don't try to BS. This is one of the biggest things right here. With the lack of training out there, I see more salespeople wing stuff and BS their way through the sales process. And what it actually allows the customers to do here is this is to not have credibility with that salesman, okay? So you don't wanna lose trust and credibility at any point in time through the sale. So if you're brand new, or if you've been doing this for a year, you need to really understand this. You need to tell people that you're brand new. Listen, I was in my second year of selling cars, and I was still using, hey, how you doing, my name's Andy, I'm brand new, I appreciate you coming to the store, how can I help you? Why did I say I was brand new all the time? because I didn't want people beating me up out there thinking that I knew it all, trying to pull information out of me. So when I told them I was brand new right out the gate, they automatically brought that down and they allowed me to slide on some things. So I'm just telling you, so you understand this? After about two years, I had salesman of the month plaques all over my office. I mean, I hit it every month. My, my manager's like, dude, you can't tell people you're brand new. You have your plaques all over your office. I said, dang it. So I'm telling you, you use it. And if you are brand new, use it and wear it out until your manager says you can't wear it out anymore. It's one of the best things in the world to do. So I'd like to tell you this, be knowledgeable, help the customer, don't try to BS your way through the process, okay? This will have you lose all credibility, answer the question with the question. What that means is this, when somebody asks me a question when I'm selling, 99% of the time I won't give an answer unless I'm really for sure of that answer. If I don't know the answer, I'll just answer a question with the question. And then guess what? It's fine. I made an example of that right here so I can tell you what that looks like and so you can understand it. I would rather do that than BS my way through something because guess what? In today's times, 2020, remember that guy across the street that had the bad training from his leader before that told him to just go out there and wing it and BS your way through it, right? Fake it till you make it. He has no skill. He's out there BSing customers. The second a customer feels that you're lying to him once, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna pull the wall back up, and you're dead. And maybe even in spite of a good enough deal, they'll leave. And even if they stay and buy, will you have made a lot of money? No. So I wanna tell you this, this is important, okay? If you're brand new, this is crucial for you to practice this. All right, here's an example. Customer asks, what are the rebates and the discounts on this car? Think about it. how many times does somebody asks you a question, whatever it is, what, what is the towing um, you know, capability on that truck? You know, what are the rebates and the discounts on this car? You know, just any question, what kind of gas mileage does that vehicle get? I hear so many salespeople say, so, well, you know, I think it gets around 25, and that customer can just go to their phone in two seconds, boop, boop, and go, nah, nah, it gets like 19. And you're like, well, you know, I, you know, listen, if you don't know it, how about this? Okay, what are the rebates and the discounts on that car? The salesman responds, that's a great question. I'll make it a priority to get that answer for you soon. Is that okay? And they'll say, yeah. You say, awesome. Hey, that's a great question. 
I'll be sure to get that for us. I'll make that a priority. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Awesome. Can we finish right now and take care of this or do I need to go get it right now? Would that be okay with you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, did I give you an answer? No, I didn't give you an answer. Am I lying? No, I'm not lying. The deal is, is that you don't want to stop your cell and say, you know what, let me go ask my manager and I'll be right back. That's called a deal killer, okay? Somebody asks a question, what are the rebates and the discounts on this car? That's a great question. I'll make sure to make that a priority and I'll get that answer for you in a second. Is it okay if we continue going and I'll get that stuff for you in just a second? Would that be fair? Is that okay? Yeah, sure, that'd be great. Awesome. So, let's go back into this and that's it. Now, guess what? Could I have tried to be that know-it-all salesperson? Well, just, you know, discounts, you know, sometimes we discount one, sometimes we don't. It all depends on my manager. You know, there are some cars that are older. And, whoa, dude, what are you talking about? Don't talk about all that stuff. This works for on the phone or in person, okay? So, answer questions with the question if you don't know. If you're brand new, share it with them. Guys, be on a mission to find common ground. Trust, rapport, common ground. Those are the three deadly skills you have to have. Just to recap this, when somebody comes into your dealership or they call you, they have made the decision to get uncomfortable and come in. Their first time needs to be outstanding. They need to see it as a personal relationship that they have with you and not just a transaction. Guys, this is gonna help you become deadly at the meet and greet. This will help you master it. And by the way, we're gonna have even another section and maybe even the fourth. I'm not for sure yet. It depends on if we can kill it in this next video. I don't wanna run them too long. So guys, have a very blessed day. Please share this with as many as friends or salespeople that you have so that we can continue to grow. I appreciate you guys. You guys can text me, 918-210-0254. Anything you need, I got you. And by the way,